not equal pay. No, there wait, 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 what's, pay. what's the wage gap really quick? I don't need to tell you a number. I can tell you from a living experience. Women anecdotal evidence is not pay. strong evidence. This My is, evidence? On. It's anecdotal. This, I live it. Oh, yeah, that's the definition of anecdotal evidence. Anecdotal evidence is is reality. You know women make as much money as no, you for the same you, job. If, if, if you divide... Well, then be quiet because you don't know. So if you were to do 77 cents to a man's dollar, that's only if you divide the median earnings of full-time women by the median earnings of full-time men. That's all that is. That doesn't account for uh, occupation, education, hours worked. So it's disingenuous to bring it up. You're saying I'm disingenuous? Am I Am I disingenuous? Yo, 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 disingenuous. Ingenuous. You're asking me a question, I'm trying to answer it. No, then answer the question, yes or no, it's simple. Can you do that? Does he know you? Can you do that? If you're, if, Can you do that? If you're trying to lie to people, it's disingenuous. If you're just I'm not lying. Facts, I like, said, are you facts. calling me... If you don't know are the you facts... Are calling me... If I don't know your facts? No, no, those are the Guess facts. Guess what? Here's another example of anecdotal evidence, just so you know how ridiculous and unreliable it actually can be. My grandfather was a heavy smoker most of his life, but he lived to be 90 years old. <laughs> Therefore, smoking is not harmful to people. That's purely emotional based. It doesn't represent the truth. You can never look at anecdotal evidence and say, oh, well, this, this is it. It's never enough. But as a feminist, that's all they need. Personal experience. And that's enough for them to form their opinion, which is then not ever going to be changed, no matter what facts you present. When it comes to the government and your body, uh, this is a draft registration card. Now, don't mind the bright colors right if I skip to this page here so this is a draft registration card that only men in this country have to sign it's called the I don't know if you're familiar with the selective service system so when it comes to men having control of their bodies in the event of a war bear in mind what's going on in Ukraine bear in mind what's going on in the Middle East right now this idea that men have control of their bodies it's actually not entirely true in the event of a draft, men would be forced to go into the trenches, into the front lines, and they wouldn't have a choice when it comes to that. Now, you don't see feminists in the streets really advocating for an equalization of the draft or getting rid of the selective service system or getting rid of male military conscription. Gender dysphoria is a mental illness. I don't think there's a reason to transition if you don't have a mental illness. Like, in That's your like saying you that, shouldn't cut no. your hair because you don't no. want long hair. Wow, that is so not a comparison. No. So, so when, when, wow. when, when, it is a break with reality. I'll start at where I've said before. There are two sexes. It's determined not just by external characteristics, but by chromosomes. When somebody dies and is buried, and 400 years later, if they exhume the body and they test those bones, they're going to see that it's an XX or an XY. It's a male or a female. It's a mental issue, and you want to treat it that way. Gender dysphoria is a mental health condition, and the treatment for this condition is to do a medical transition if that person chooses to have those procedures done. Do you think children are capable of making that decision? How is it any different if I go to the doctor and I say there's voices in my head, I'm hearing things. Obviously, that would probably mean I've got schizophrenia or some mental illness. The doctor would say them things aren't real. Okay, it's in your head. We're going to give you medication. But if I go to the doctor and say, I think I'm a woman. Well, obviously I'm not a woman. So why doesn't the doctor be like, that's not true. <laughs> There's something wrong with your brain. But instead they're like, oh, you think you're a woman? Yeah, okay, you're a hero. It's, it doesn't make no sense. There's no common sense being applied to this. What if I wanted to start on OnlyFans? <laughs> no chance. Why is he mad? If that, I can't lie, if that conversation even come up, I think I'd break up you then. Really? Yeah, I can't So lie. that's just, a, that's the deal breaker? I think that's an like obvious deal, deal breaker, breaker for most men. There's this whole thing of like, are oh, you yeah, insecure if you don't let a girl do OnlyFans? I'm a f Go find a man that likes that then. He's probably a weirdo. I mean, Some a men don't care though. Some men say like, oh, I'll help you. He stands there wanking while his missus gets f <laughs> That's that type of geezer. And it can never be me. No, if you're mine, you're mine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I can only think of two types of guys that would be okay with a girl doing OnlyFans. The first one is if he's a simp, and we all know girls don't really want to be with simps, so that's that. The second type of guy would be probably if he's making money off you, so if he's like a pimp, that's it. Let me know in the comments if you think there's any more. The idea that a child can consent to a sex change, to gender-affirming surgery, if you believe that, there's really nothing that you can believe they can't consent to. Right? Because that's pretty extreme. That's a permanent body modification under the best circumstances. So you want to move aside all the complications, all the things you can't do, the sterilization, not being able to feed your kids. You can even set that aside. Just the permanent body modification. I mean, you have to be so demented 
to believe that a child fully understands. I heard a few conversations about, well, if the child fully understands, <coughs> they don't. They don't because they're children. But see, the thing is, though, some adults don't even understand what they want to do. Exactly. So, that's the kind so of the how thing. can a child? But, but see, wanna, a children, that's, that's, wait a minute, let's not, just, let's not planet. underestimate the power of these kids today, okay? They are very much more educated because they have much more resources and access than we did wow. coming up. So let's be so very clear about that. And, they can and consent. when we talk Who about these transitions. If you understand that adults can't, can't make the right decisions all the time, then why on earth would you expect a kid to be able to make the right decision? Where's the logic? There's no logic. There is no logic. Kids' brains are not fully developed. That's why you don't let kids do a whole load of stuff that we've talked about before, like get tattoos, drink alcohol, whatever. So to try and push them into transitional surgery, is it's insane. It really is. And um, some of these people are trying to say we're the crazy ones for pointing out common sense. But then if you just take one look at them, these are the people calling us crazy. How hilarious is that? One of you commented this on one of my videos, so shout out. <laughs> Uh, it's so funny but so true. Transphobic is now a term used for someone who has all of their faculties in order, lives in the real world, and has common sense. That's funny. Have you ever seen that video where it shows local news people all saying the exact same thing? It's one of those things where you go like, I kind of knew that this happened, but to see it happen so blatantly. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. Unfortunately, some, some members of the media use their platforms to push their, their own personal, personal bias and agenda, agenda to control the truth. Exactly, exactly what people think. think. And this, this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. democracy. This is fucking scary. Well, that's propaganda. They're trying to bend your mind into whatever their narrative is. Not this, but that. Here's a gender inclusive tip. How about new? Instead of assuming that only trans and non binary people experience gender or talk about gender, and here we go. Instead, develop the awareness and metacognition that gender is always present and everyone experiences it. Are you hot? Gender is all around us, and society enforces it upon us from the moment we're born. You know. I'm something of a scientist myself. There's gender in the Mrs. Miss or Mr. You call your boss. There's gender in the designation of which bathrooms are for which folks. Got the big brain on bread. My point is, you are aware of gender. You just take it for granted. <laughs> okay. And so often I think cisgender people are threatened by trans non-binary people because we're breaking that fourth wall and making it visible. So I'm the victim. What's he talking about? Like, everything he said didn't make any sense. So we all know what gender is. We don't even need to question it. We just know. I don't even need anyone to tell me I'm a guy. I don't need no one to reassure me of that. You're the people running around trying to say, oh, you need reassurance or you've misgendered me. No, you misgendered yourself. You're trying to change the definitions of everything to fit your own little narrative. Then you get called out on it. And then you try and say cis gendered people. By the way, that's some bullshit. When no one is cis gendered, all right? Or cis woman or whatever that means. You're either a man or a woman so we call you out on your bullshit and now you're trying to say we're threatened <laughs> the delusion it's unreal i was watching biden and there's a clip of biden what biden says and this is i've, I've probably watched this clip i'm not into politics yeah. at all but this I, yeah. biden goes i got something important that i want to say and the whole world needs to hear it i need everybody to listen right now and he takes a beat he goes I don't know. I forget. <laughs> the President of the United States. I'm going to say something outrageous. So the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to... Anyway. Here are some things I expect a man to pay for while I'm dating him or we're in a relationship. All dates. Like, sir, you're courting me, you're dating me, like, you should be paying for the date. I don't pay for dates, so, I like, what are we doing here? Why would you ask me on a date if you're not going to pay for it? That doesn't make any sense to me. Now, I know you don't want to look at my crusty nails, and my nails are never crusty because I'm a model, so I have to get my nails done for shoots, and, like, I usually upkeep my nails once every two weeks. So you got to be able to afford my nails to be done once every two weeks. You just have to to date me honestly when it comes to hair i have like that wash and go hair but still products are expensive like my conditioners my leave-ins my detanglers my co-washes like hair is expensive so i'm gonna need you to front the bill on that you know like you need to help me out now if you guys don't already know ubers are a given a must like i do not pay for my transportation to these dates 
you must get my Uber. That is just the standard. I don't like looking like a bush monkey, so waxing is a given. I feel like nobody wants to see that. So yeah, you got my wax, right? You got my wax. Now further down the line, I'm not talking about the first few dates, but eventually you're gonna have to pay my rent. Like girls got bills to pay and I am too feminine to like pay for myself. So I mean, I do that now, but like if I'm with you, why would I pay for my own bills? Oh no. I don't know if this is real, Surely she's got to be joking, but I can't find the comment, but the top comment read, do I have to pay to wax your moustache? Ah.